What's going on, all you fantastic people? I'm Matt. And I am Vanessa. And once again, this is Zeus. And today, we're going to be talking about Isle of Dogs. So it's appropriate that we have a cat, a cat in the video, I guess. Just a little bit. <laughs> the Isle of Dogs features the voice talents of just about everybody, everybody. and everybody. Yes. <laughs> When an outbreak of canine flu swarms the city of Megasaki, Mayor Kobayashi exiles all dogs to Trash Island, where they're meant to spend the rest of their days toiling amongst the garbage. However, young Atari, nephew to Kobayashi, sets out to reclaim his lost dog and embarks on an adventure bigger than he imagined. Aiding him along the way are a pack of dogs led by Chief, a stray who wants nothing to do with Atari or his quest. And I just have to say, no cat booty. <laughs> I just have to say right off the bat that, in my opinion, this is Wes Anderson at his finest. This film is original, <laughs> creative, strange, and just silly enough. Yes, this is definitely Wes Anderson. He put his stamp on everything. Absolutely everything. Um, I'm not a huge fan of claymation. Just not a big fan of that kind of animation. No. Um, this is just stop motion animation, and you know what? What I really like about this is the attention to detail. There is, it's fantastic. It's so detailed. Everything up into the the dog's mouth moving accurately yes, to what yes. is being said. It's it's phenomenal, actually. It's yeah. a, a lot of work. So I, I really appreciated that. It's a lot of work, and this movie to me was a lot of fun. But it really boils down to three key points, or at least for me. First off is the cast. This is an amazing cast. Just bear with me, because lending their voices to this film, you have Brian Cranston, Edward Norton Jr., Bill Murray, Lee Schreiber, Scarlett Johansson, Jeff Goldblum, Francis McDormand, Greta Gerwig, F. Murray Abraham, Harvey Keitel, and believe it or not, the list goes on. on. There's and, and on, and it and just on. keeps going, and yeah. those were the names that we could pronounce. Well, there there are some others, like Tilda Swinton, I know she uh, she had a role in the film. So, I mean, there are other big names out there, but I also do want to say special props to Koyu Rankin, I'm hope, I'm, I hope I'm saying that correctly. Um, he played Atari, or was the voice of Atari, voice of Atari only yes. 11 years old, and already he's working around these fantastic actors and actresses, so I thought that was that was pretty awesome. Yes. Uh, for me, second was the animation, the animation, which is wonderful. Yes, the animation is so great. Yeah, and it's it is the attention to detail. It's also the creativity, the oh. the scenery. I mean, the the areas on Trash Island that they created for this film were pretty remarkable. They were. They really were. I like that a lot. And then the other thing that I really liked was the the quick witty humor but yes. that's also Wes Anderson stamps so. and that was that was my number three on my list is the writing because it has Wes Anderson all over it, it sure does <laughs> just the the odd humor the the witty like one-liners like the blink and you miss it kind exactly. of jokes that are in there and then also just the odd weird story weird yeah that's Wes Anderson it's definitely yeah it's that blend of odd humor and creativity but I love it I absolutely love it um, there were moments in this film that just had me rolling. Yes. And so I definitely appreciate uh, Wes Anderson's writing and his style of humor. Um, and this is a creative, funny film, and it's it's one that had me hooked right from the beginning. It's not Wes Anderson's best, but it's also not his worst. And for me, I'm going to go ahead and give Isle of Dogs an A-. Okay, okay. Um, I... You know, this movie wasn't a Grand Budapest Hotel. It wasn't a Fantastic Mr. Fox. Um, no. But I enjoyed it very much. And so I'm going to give it a B plus. All right. Okay. Fair enough. It is worth checking out. But I do have one note. This isn't really a negative thing. But I do want to say that although this is an animated movie and does follow a bunch of dogs and a young boy, this is not a kid's film. No. I'm just throwing it out there in case you think this might be a kid's film or if you're not familiar with Wes Anderson. Definitely not a kids' film. No, I feel like no. uh, I think I think kids might be a little bored with it. A little bored, maybe even a little bit traumatized in spots. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, um, but it is worth checking out. I do. We recommend it. Yes, it is yes. worth seeing in theaters. Uh, yeah. So of course, if you guys have seen it, let us know what you thought about Isle of Dogs yes, down please. in the comments below. And if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more of our awesome movie reviews, hit the subscribe button. And of, course, if, and of course, thank you for watching. You. you guys are the best. And as always, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we will see you awesome people next, next time. time.